welcome you are watching the Times of India and with us live in exclusive is Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google. Now at the Kharagpur Railway Station where he just come back for a homecoming after 23 years. Uh, Sundar, this is also the railway station uh, where you used to come to the Koromandal Express to Chennai. Tell us about that. Oh, you know, it's a long journey. Uh, you know, it's always exciting because we're able to catch the train and go back home. Didn't have a reservation always, so I had some fun experiences. Uh, but you know, it's uh, incredible to be back in the same uh, railway station. As you know, it's a very, very long railway station. So I have memories of walking with my luggage and lugging it for long distances. It's good to be back here. So, seeing the Wi-Fi coverage here is pretty amazing. The fact that we can take a place like this and get high-speed connectivity, which is really easy. Uh, you know, it's been incredible to see. This is the one of the 400 the railway stations that you promised up, that you will put free content in the future. How many have been prepared so far? So we set out a timeline. We set out a timeline for three years, and in the first year we had a goal of the 100 of the busiest train stations, and we have done 110, and we look forward to working and doing more. Right. Um, uh, I was told that uh, what you're finding when you're putting this free Wi-Fi, like stations in smaller towns, you're getting a lot of people coming in just to hang out. Um, what, what interesting trends are you seeing from these huge millions of people coming into railway stations? We find that in rural areas where they don't have great connectivity. People actually come into the stations and they spend time so they can use. Shows the demand Indian users have for So, um, Sundar, um, when um, one of the things that you have promised the Prime Minister, mean, Google is a very much important part of Google India initiative, uh, in terms of connecting India digitally and, and getting a all Indian online, uh, how do you, what are the challenges you see ahead of yourself? Uh, you know, I think really you yeah, want to enable affordable smartphones. We want to bring the price points down. We want to see better connectivity that's beginning to happen in India. We need to make sure the internet works in more languages than ever before. So we're working on all these problems and I'm optimistic we can make progress. Uh, uh, so Great game changing companies in the world. Um, what is it like to be an Indian in the Silicon Valley? When, uh, you know, when you're there, what makes Silicon Valley great is it's a it's a place where uh, you know I, you know ideas are what matter, uh, not where you come from, and uh, that's there are many many people like me from all over the world, um, you know, and so I think that's what makes Silicon Valley uh, as great as it is. One last question, Sundar. I know you have to go. Um, with Donald Trump becoming the U.S. president. What does that mean for tech giants like Google and Silicon Valley, which thrives on diversity? So what does Donald Trump's presidency mean for you and for you yourself? You know, I, look, uh, it, it, you know, the administration is, uh, you know, the transition is going to happen. We look forward to working with the incoming administration like we've always done. And, you know, I think there'll be good initiatives which we as a tech sector can do to improve the economy right. in the U.S. Right. And, and so on. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sundar. Well, that was Sundar Pichai joining us live from the Kharagpur Railway Station. Um, and we will be tracking him through the day uh, as he goes around Kharagpur. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Keep watching the Times of India.